Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Deva Kasarka. I am an Exa developer and creator. So today I'm going to tell you how to set up Blast RTK in Unity for your Android. I'll be I'll be guiding you from step one to step zero everything with without facing any bugs while you're making your app. Yeah, let's get started now. Before doing that, uh, you have some steps in Unity Hub. Go to installs and make sure using the Unity version 2019 or 2020 or 2021. And go to settings and just click on show explorer. I'm sorry, just click on add modules and make sure your Android build support is installed and Android SDK and NDK tools and open JDK install properly and your Microsoft Visual Studio 2 of course <laughs> and then yeah that's it so now let's just create the project over here just go to new project of course like I, I prefer the new 3d 3d file just click on let's like step like like just type here like let's chip um, yeah I take a Android tutorial yeah um, tutorial sorry <laughs> Yeah. and then just and there's a template called your core but i don't prefer because you'll be getting some you'll be getting your core rtk sorry, sorry stk but we are not using the R core here you using the light chip rtk from nine tech and just click on create project after adding this thing of course it takes some time if you're i mean computer is good with some high power processors it's like it's just boom within seconds but it takes some time if you're if you have low performance processes yep so in me in me well let's like just download the live rtk sdk just so now let's just go to google and just type here lightship rtk and you'll be seeing something like this lightship dot dev open this lightship rtk so right now we are here, here to create some beautiful air content for Android. Of course, this even this work with iOS, but I'm just here to train you how to create for Android for right now. So this is like click on sign in. And create a account. And then you'll be seeing something like dashboard over here. And now just go, just you'll be seeing something like this here. Download large API ticket for Unity. And this is for both Windows and Mac. Yeah, just click on this thing. And you can download the latest version of this. Of course, if you want to download the previous version, just go to re re release notes and just check out this everything. And then we have some another few resources from Lightship RTK. Lightship example something like something like um, templates which you can reuse them and you can just customize them for your work and sample mock mixtures and yeah take a mock album these are very different these are very good resources for you without building every time from your for your mobile and testing every time you can just test them in your unity itself with these features and here was something like which we saw this snow game this is a template game you can just check that out And now it's downloaded and let's now just go to unity and after coming to unity it is one step is one important step which you need to make sure you're doing this thing just go to file sorry just go to file click on build settings and then in default it will be in pc mac linux standalone and just click on the android and make sure you install the all the modules which we need for android yep now just click on switch platform yeah and after switching to the android make sure you see this icon next to the android and now we just we need to import the rtk package which install from lightship website now go to assets and right click and cl just click on import packages and yeah, custom packages so just go to your file and click 
click on the so this is in like old version just i'm comfortable with this version so i use this thing right now and even i use the unity 2020 yep just click on this it will import all the packages which we need right now yeah make sure you are checking all the points yes we are back now again just go to example scenes and click on some something like pan api just open this scene and then go to and uh, now we just need to go to file settings files and build settings and then open the player settings this step is very important make sure you're adding this scene and go to player settings and go to pro settings and player and here you just write your own your like it's your name or something like that and your app name and here you can just select some icons and be selecting Niantic beautiful Niantic logo <laughs> and then coming to the graphics apis currently lightship etiquette doesn't support the vulcan so just need to uncheck this yes it's done now and even you can add the open jelly to do it's done now and now just come to the identifications and make sure using the for comp as for recommendations like you should need at least ap level 24 but i prefer something for an ap level 25 and here just make sure and the in the configurations script backend it changes to i l 2 c c p p and you can just leave it something like this here and at the target architecture make sure you check the erm 642 yeah that's it if you want to change anything for the color gamma it's like it's your wish for right now but it's not compulsory and then go to publish settings this is only for android and click on custom manifest so this is this is because sometimes like if you're using a mobile which is not supported by ER core you'll be getting message called update ER core and after going to after that just click on Click settings and now here you just click on the custom manifest this is only for android not for ios but this is because something for for using if your if your mobile is not super for latest air core it just shows ask you to update but it won't update there you don't see any update button but so if you're using this using <coughs> manifest you can just without updating your air core in your mobile Yes, after this, you just need to go to the file which you are saying that and make sure you save this file. And go to the <coughs> file folder. Um, this thing. And yeah. And after going to your file folder, just click on assets, plugins and click on android and then open the android manifest i'll drop you the link which you need to go to go through just and click to the next to the application just click enter and just copy and paste it here i'll be pasting the this code in the description you can just save this close close go back to unity and then click on build settings again go to player settings and make sure in the editor you're clicking you're selecting android any device and compression this is up to you jpeg or png i prefer jpeg for smoother performance and go to the player again and come to the graphics you should just like compass over right now just close these things and go to window again go to package manager and then go to unity registry click and search here universal render pipeline yeah universal rp this is like something universal render pipeline this is to i mean render the camera in your android mobile if you didn't install this thing you're, you'll be facing some black screen so
stand now and just come to assets and click on right click and click on create and then come to rendering universal render pipeline and click on pipeline assets here and go to file build settings again player settings go to graphics and then click on ertk ertk render pipeline only you see when you install the ertk sdk only if you install your core you don't see this ertk render pipeline you'll be seeing only universal render pipeline yeah that's it you can now just save the folder and then click on build settings and just connect your phone refresh your run device so that it will fetch the your device here you can set, just select that and click on build settings build and run and then name your application which you want to see in your mobile and i'm typing something here and save yeah that's it it's gonna run your application your mobile thank you yeah i mean that's it for right now so thank you so much for watching my video so if you need any tips for using lightship rtk yarko and and all other yeah tools just comment below and i'll make you more tutorials on this and make sure you just subscribe my channel for more videos recording xr and metaverse and web3 and soon i'll be launching some beautiful videos recording web3 and crypto and nfts and don't forget to share comment like and yeah that's it for right now and you can just follow my instagram too this is the workers i'll be posting lots of your content there thank you bye bye